Good morning. Can you tell me your name and I'm why you're here? Bird. And uh, I'm here to support my dad, Ward Bird. And uh, I understand that uh, you folks are working hard to uh, get a pardon hearing for him, uh, for him, uh, with for some of the people or uh, with some of the people right here in this building. Yeah. Um, we actually, as of right now, have talked to Ray Burton. He's the chair of the executive council, and um, we. Really what we need is the majority vote of the Executive Council and a vote from Governor Lynch to have the pardon hearing, and that's what we're working on right now. I think we have uh, votes from the Executive Council, but we're just waiting for that. And uh, what are your thoughts about the people that are that have come out here today um, uh, to stand with you in front of the State House? Um, it takes a lot to be out here in the cold, but uh, I know all of them support me and my family and my dad in general. Um, I have my boyfriend, one of my best friends here, my aunt, my cousin, local community and everything, so it's really awesome to see everyone come out and support. Mr. Panic, just uh, wondering why you're here today, uh, first day of the uh, new session out in front of the State House. Yeah, I'm a representative from uh, Farmington for the New Hampshire House of Representatives. Uh, I've been a big supporter of Ward Bird. Um, I had a uh, partition, I, saw, I actually wrote a letter with the Speaker of the House and uh, had 117 representatives sign on to the letter. And uh, we submitted it to the governor so that we could uh, get Ward Burden's uh, pardon expedited. And what do you think is the, uh, where does that stand at this point? What is the next step in, in that process? Well, the next step in the process is that the executive council has to take it up. Uh, the governor does not actually have the permission to, or doesn't have the authority, not the permission, but doesn't have the authority to actually just par, uh, pardon Ward Bird. So uh, the executive council will take it up, and uh, after the executive council votes on a Ward's pardon, then at that point, if they vote to pardon Ward Bird, it'll go to the governor, and at that point, the governor can, uh, th then he can finally free Ward Bird. And, and the governor, and the governor has agreed uh, to talk to the attorney general to expedite Ward's pardon request because right now there's 16 other inmates that have put in pardons that are in front of them. So when we brought, when myself and uh, Speaker of the House Bill O'Brien brought the petition forward, uh, the governor agreed to uh, talk to the Attorney General about having the uh, 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 pardon uh, hearing expedited up. Uh, could you tell us your name please? Absolutely, it's uh, Brian DeGuzis. And why are you here today? Uh, because, uh, uh, for two reasons mainly. One, because I believe an innocent man is in prison, and two, believe, because I believe that uh, our rights here as citizens of the state of New Hampshire are in jeopardy. And what would you like to see uh, the folks uh, going into this house today, starting the new year off, uh, what would you like to see them change? Uh, well, first and foremost, to see a swift pardon for Ward Bird, and uh, secondly, certainly to strengthen our rights that are supposed to already be guaranteed under uh, 2A of our state constitution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, may I ask uh, your name? My name is Garrett Lear, otherwise known across the country as the Patriot Pastor. Uh, this is uh, an opening day, a new session here uh, for the state legislator, uh, legislature. I see all the free Ward Bird uh, folks here today. Are you familiar with their cause? I absolutely am, and uh, i totally compatible with that. Ward Bird needs to be freed right now, and the debacle that ended up putting him in jail needs to be reversed and straightened out and clarified and I believe in this legislative session it's going to be dealt with. Uh, We're uh, putting pressure on the governor in the way that all citizens of New Hampshire ought to put pressure on the governor by calling, by writing, by faxing, by emailing and every other possible thing and showing up at his office to say governor you need to pardon this man. This is a, an atrocity, it's a, it's a problem that needs to be dealt with, you can't hide from it and so, uh, yes, in every possible way, both externally and internally, and I do understand that some of the, the governor's advisors uh, are actually speaking to him about it, too. So I'm, that is in process, no doubt about it. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, sir. Can I ask your name? And I'm where Representative from? Joe Hagan from Chester, New Hampshire. Are you familiar with uh, the cause out here? Um, what, is your, uh, what are your feelings on it? Are I think you... the governor should do everything he can today to expedite the pardon of this gentleman who should never spent one second in jail for defending his family and his home. Um, good morning, sir. Can I ask your name and where you hail from? I'm Dave Babson and I represent Ossipi and Freedom and Tamworth and Sandwich. Are you familiar with the Ward Bird case? Yes, I am. 
What are your thoughts on uh, what these people are uh, trying to do uh, for him? I think we ought to let him out of jail just as quick as we can. Good morning. Could you tell us your name, please? Meredith Bird Miller. And why are you here today? I am here to support the cause of my brother Ward to bring him home because he's an innocent man who's been unjustly convicted. And what uh, what is the next step uh, in, in the fight um, from the Free Ward Bird uh, people? We are applying for a pardon with the governor. It has to move through the executive council, and we need the governor's support as well for a pardon hearing and that will bring the facts to light so that people will be able to make the right decision. Can I get your name, sir? Uh, I'm uh, Mike Ball from Manchester. Are you familiar with the uh, Ward Bird case? Absolutely. I look forward to seeing him get out of prison just as soon as possible. Uh, were you part of the uh, legislators that signed the uh, yes, petition? I was. Mr. Well, yes, I was. Yes, I was. And I was proud to do it. I would have signed it twice if they let me. Um, I understand that uh, the next step is they're looking for his pardon application to make its way through and hopefully to get Governor Lynch to allow it to go to a pardon hearing. Uh, I assume you folks are also strongly uh, supporting that, that he, uh, he allow that to happen? Absolutely. The sooner the better. You know, he's already been in there a lot longer. In fact, he should have never been in there in the first place, but he's been in there way too long already. Sorry he wasn't able to be home for Christmas with his family. Corey, 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 Corey. Bring him home! Free one, bud. Woo!